Today, we're going to be using the lines that we know to create a line landscape. A landscape is a picture of land. You will need a black crayon and your sketchbook. Let's turn to a clean piece of paper in your sketchbook. And I'm going to put my list of lines right here to remind me of the lines that I want to use. And I want to include all of these lines in my landscape. We're going to start at the bottom of our paper and work our way up. The first thing we're going to do is put in some grass. And we're going to use a zigzag line. And this zigzag line doesn't have to be an even zigzag like I have on my list. It can be kind of rough. It can have tall zigs and short zags. And I'm going to bring it all the way across my paper. Next, we're going to put in some waves. There's going to be a river, or maybe it's a lake, next to this grass. So I'm going to put in two lines of waves. And then I'm going to do the shoreline. And to do that, I'm just going to do a slightly curvy line, or maybe there's just shallow water or maybe a little bit of sand. Next to the shoreline, we'll put some shrubs or some small bushes. Let's use the bumpy line and a loop-de-loo. I'm going to start over here on the right side and I'm going to do a bumpy line that comes up and comes right back down. And inside that bush I'm going to give it a little bit of structure with a vertical line and a couple of diagonals. I'm going to use a loop-de-loo line and I'm going to bring it right next to the first bush, and then a smaller one over here. Let's put a couple lines in there too. Behind the bushes, we're gonna put in a hill. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a curvy line. Behind the hill, there's a castle. So we're gonna start with a square shape. First, I'm gonna draw a vertical line. And then I want to draw another vertical line that is about the same height. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line across. And on the right side here, I'm going to draw a tall rectangle. And on the left side, I'm also going to do a tall rectangle. On top of the rectangle I just drew, we're going to do a triangle shape for the roof. Across the big square on the top here, of course, we have to put castle top. And I'll put castle top on top of the other tower too. I want the tower with the triangle roof to appear like it's a round tower. So to help it look round, I'm going to put a curved line at the bottom of the triangle and a couple more curved lines up in the roof. Let's put in a door, some sort of square or a rectangle shape. I'm going to do a curve on top just to help it take up a little more room. And let's make sure we put in some broken lines. I'm going to do some right along the top of my castle. It adds a little bit of texture. And let's add some texture to that door too. I'm going to make it look like a wood door by putting in some vertical lines. And I'm going to put in some windows. You can make any shape window you want. I'm going to do a couple of rhombus here, and then I'm going to mix it up. And on the tower on the right, I'm going to do some long rectangle windows. And on the tower on the left, I'm going to do a window with an arch on the top. Let's put in a couple of flags. I'm going to put in a vertical line for a flagpole, and this tower is going to have a triangle flag. And on the other tower, I'm going to do another vertical line for a flagpole, and it's going to have a rectangle-shaped flag. 
I'm going to do the horizontal lines with a little curve on them, and that's going to help the flag look like it's waving in the wind. We're going to put in some sort of a hill or mountain in the background. I'm going to do a mountain. I think a zigzag will be great. I'm going to do a giant zigzag. If I bump into my castle or my flag, I'm going to jump over, bring that line back down. So you need another mountain. And I'm going to put in a couple more, let's see a smaller one. And then I think I'll do one more in the background. Now if these are really tall mountains, they're going to still have some snow on the top. So I'll do a little zigzag at the top of a couple of them. There we go. And we're done. Look at all those awesome lines we used. This is going to be our stopping point for this week. Next week we're going to add some color and a little more texture.